Hey, y'all stay tuned, and we're going to talk about this new hydraulic log handling system for the OS35. This could be my dream sawmill. Another reason I need hydraulic controls. Uh, we're going to cut a tree down first, a big cedar. And then we'll get that back to the sawmill and make our first cut on the sawmill since we've added the extension. Something like that that I couldn't remember. How it, how it went. Now we should be able to cut somewhere along the lines of 17 feet, 17 and a half feet long. So let's get to it. I had to cinch these up a little bit more than I used to. All right, so this is one of the cedars I, I talked about using right here. And it is a little bit skinnier than I thought. It'll probably make a good post for the front of the cabin. Uh, or light, like a light post or something like that. I think this is the one we're gonna we're gonna take down. It's a nice big tree, and I'm obviously gonna get I'm gonna get more than one post out of it. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and start making our face cuts and see what happens. Textbook. Eastern red cedar is what they call it. Or if you check right here, you can see this thing is solid, how straight it is. I'm going to top this stump right here so that we don't spike nobody like me. All right, so we're going to take this one at, uh, I guess we're going to be about 14 feet. And it's going to be right here just past this knob. So I've got to remember is that one knob. One of these knobs don't look like the other. So this is Belly Dog. She's our old dog. Belly Dog, come here. She is uh, about 14 years old. And she hardly ever comes to the, to the farm with us. She tries her best to run. She can't do it very much anymore. She's got the heart, just not the not the gear no more. Okay, now we got that on with the tractor to figure out how we're going to cut this dude. So our goal is to get the best amount of wood out of this that we can and make a post. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we want it to look as nice as we can. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this side off first. We're gonna turn, rotate this a little bit more and we're gonna cut all of this bulge off of the side and hopefully get most of the, most of the log will be a, a, a actual good beam. Did you gonna help me buddy? To wore out. All right, we started this thing in literally a couple months. Here's the choke key to run. Put it to half choke real quick. All right, so the tank we drained it earlier. Like I said, I'm gonna put RV antifreeze back in it. We we'll need to keep a lubricant in it that won't freeze. Again, we're gonna make sure that the back stops are to the top. And then what we'll do is we'll get this to the very back with a cant hook and then rotate it around so this is at the top again. And we're gonna, it looks like this log is pretty straight other than this little bulge right here of this older stuff. All right, guess what we got to slip over, bud. So because the way I set this on here, I'm gonna rotate this a couple times. At least cedar's not that heavy. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this around. I think I like that right there. So now I'm gonna put my back stops down, put a log dog on. I think we're ready to go. Resin, I guess is what it would be. Good. 
and one, one thing I want to talk about on this, I don't have the auto lube system. And I really like that auto lube. I got it on the OS 18 and you, you turn it on and the, it starts the fluid, the cooling fluid. And as soon as you let go of the throttle, it again turns the, the fluid off. It's a, it's a neat feature and it saves you a lot of hassle from turning the, the fluid on and off. Let it warm up, no choke. If it seems like we're cutting slow here, well, the answer is we are. And the reason being, this blade is dull. This I have yet to change this blade uh, from the first time I used it. We are going to change it here in a few minutes, and you'll see why soon. Back in, house. Well, I think this would be a time to talk about the new hydraulic system for the Frontier OS 35. I just seen this go on sale, I guess today or yesterday, when I noticed an Instagram post. This thing has two hydraulic tow boards. It has a log turning chain. It has the log dog and then hydraulic backstops. It's got the whole works. Now, the price looks to be probably about $7,500, and then shipping and everything are probably going to bring in about eight. dollars eight thousand dollars when you add that to the cost of the sawmill it's still a very very compelling argument this is going to bring this sawmill to a new level what are you guys' thoughts on this i i am excited i need one in defense of this sawmill also i have a lot of time experience on the os 23 and even though they are similar this is a new machine, and it takes some getting used to. There's differences in how wide it is, and that plays a role. We're probably going to take a couple of cuts just to make sure that I don't waste anything. Two kind of sawyers, those that have and those that will. Well, it's always that time that you're going to do it. Could have swore that was down a lot lower than that. I totally misread that log. And that bump stop. All right, what I did is I went ahead and dropped that down a little bit. It damaged the blade for sure, but it's in the middle of the, it's in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up and go all the way through. Frustrated day. Got my first blade, miscut the log. Mm. 
bad. I miscut the log bad. I misread it. So, in my eye, it looked like I need to raise this up quite a bit on this end to, I didn't measure it. I should have measured it. Let's see here. And I wasted a lot of wood. Yeah, this is enough to make a board out of right here. So it tells you the Sabertooth blades are good quality blades because I just hit the backstop. And the blade definitely needs to be sharpened, but it did not break one tooth off. Go around the, the blade and you can see that they're definitely dulled on the end though. Guys, I probably just showed you the perfect way not to do a log. I've still got so much to learn on this. I do have a new log turning apparatus. It's a winch system that goes on here. I'm going to put that on probably in the next video. Um, you know, we'll use this, this timber somewhere. But it's really sad because these are kind of hard to come by in, in the size that they are. And I really, I really did ruin a pretty good log. Hey, tell me what you think. Leave me some comments. You know, hey, look, I'm a big boy. You see things I could do better, which I, obviously there are. And uh, I appreciate it. God bless. Have a great day. Get my don't run up, Bob.